the uh, information that we just entered displayed as a navigation entry. So, for example, you can have a number of quick entry pages here where they could start entries and then also have sub pages that link to lists where you can update those, those form types or where you could view them. So using that you can nest the home pages to organize any number of uh, organize any number of quick entry solutions and as you can see here the navigation works takes us straight to the search page that we were just looking at. Now a quick review when we came in here the first time just as it is now there is no data pulled in to pre-populate this form. When we submitted the last quick entry form we had to put new data in and then that went through onto job data but we didn't get to see the data that we actually started with, data that was already there in job data. So we're going to add, again using GTE Forms technology, we're going to add the functionality to pre-populate that form. Here we're going to go in and, and do some people code work. And right here we've just commented out the, uh, the call that pre-populates that but again this is a delivered method that it's a, a one-line method call to pre-populate an, an entire form and in, in this case it's even a, uh, a hierarchical form where we have uh, record 0 and uh, level 1 records so you will see here that uh, we'll go ahead and, and just make that active all we're doing is we're calling our delivered method and we're passing in a row set object that describes which records we're going to pull the data from to populate this page or pre-populate it. We're just pulling in from the job record and then we're pulling in any related rows from Jobburn's disk. So that's how we're going to get the information out of the database. All of the comparison be, to match up the fields, everything that uh, that gets done to make sure that we're we're populating that appropriately, matching up with the right key fields from the component, all that happens using the, that delivered function. So now that that's created, if we save that. go back to oh we need to do one more thing another delivered feature you can add a, uh, a button that actually makes it possible to reload the original data all we need to do is put the right button on here it will call the right people code and it'll actually reload the exist reload the uh, the data from the database and overwrite what's been loaded onto the page. That all looks correct. We'll make that a little bigger. position it, save our page, and then go back and take a look. Those two changes, one line of code and a button, we can actually come back in and have complete pre-population of this page. And here it is pre-populated with data from the database. Not only can we pre-populate, but we can also pre-populate as of a given date. So for example, the effective date here 
is February 11th, 2009. If we go in and change that date to the previous date, you'll see we have two rows right now of uh, earnings code information. When we hit reload, now we've got 10. It pulled in the information from a different effective dated row so that now we've got the earnings distribution as it was on 2.8. Again, none of that involved task or function specific code. All of that came about using delivered functionality. The only thing that was custom was the row set that we passed into that delivered method. So now we have enough rows that we can show you a scrollable grid. You'll see here we've got a bar that lets us scroll up and down to, uh, to see the, the information on the page. What that does is allows you to set aside only a certain amount of the page for use in the scroll bar, but still allows you to, re to load up all of the data so that you have access to it. When you have a long grid in pre-85 people tools, it, uh, it'll just push the page farther and farther down. This actually lets you get everything on the page, access it in one place on the page. So that's one benefit, additional benefit of it, 8.5 scrollable grid. The other benefit is that, uh, and actually this you can do without having a scrollable grid, and that's a zoom grid. So at this point I can only see my f five rows at a time and I can scroll to see the other five out of the ten that I've loaded up. Using the zoom grid feature, I can pull that all out into a modal view and then I can I can either use the scroll bar here or I can drag the whole window larger so that I can see more rows at the same time. So when I pull this out, now I can see all but one of the rows. Oh, here we go. That should let us see everything. So we can we have a little bit more functionality to manage data that's in a grid. That's again comes from 8.5 and you can get access to that in your pre-91 apps.